when a laptop is completely in no power state then this section that we have to look at on uh, motherboard is called volt in step down section so in this this is the block diagram of the volt in step down section here we have the dc jack here we have the battery connector so voltage coming from the adapter through this dc jack first two will pass through a mosfet called pch1 first to p channel mosfet if this mosfet allows the current then the 19 volts from uh, adapter will pass on through this mosfet and reaches pch2 second p channel mosfet if this mosfet allows then the voltage from here will reach this junction this point we call it as a dc battery junction suppose if there is no adapter connected then the laptop works with the battery so here from this battery connector this battery supply it is around 12 volts so will pass through this mosfet it is called pch bat so battery side p channel mosfet if this mosfet allows current then the battery voltage will reach at this point this point is called dc bat out because the voltage coming from the dc jack or the battery connector will reach here and both the adapter and the battery is present then the voltage at this point will be 19 volts coming from the adapter when the adapter is disconnected then the battery starts discharging and the voltage at this point will be around 12 volts anyway this voltage dc based out voltage first two will goes to a voltage regulator called 5 volts 3.3 volts regulator this voltage input point of this 5 volts 3 volts regulator ic receives this dc bat out voltage and after receiving this voltage it gives out two outputs one is 5 volts another is 3.3 voltage the 5 volts coming from a point called v regulator 5 volt rate voltage regulator 5 and 3.3 coming from a point called v regulator 3 these 5 and 3.3 supplies are referred as always supplies because they are always present on the motherboard whether it is in a power on state power off state or in shutdown state if any of these two voltages is absent then the laptop cannot be powered on if there is no power not a single led is glowing on the motherboard then the first voltages that we have to check is these two 5 volts and 3.3 always supplies in any motherboard so let us understand the working of the volt in step down section with the help of a circuit diagram and a motherboard here we have a, a motherboard of a toshiba satellite a210 model and the here is the circuit diagram of this particular motherboard here in page number 36 we have a dc jack over here so one two is the plus positive supply pin and three four is negative that is grounding pins this is the supply line this is a grounding line so here we have dc jack over here this is pin number one two three four one two red wires uh, gives out uh, a supply coming from the adapter this is dc jack voltage is coming from the adapter through this D dc jack this voltage now passes through a fuse pf1 then through a coil pl1 and uh, this voltage at this point uh, they referred as uh, v in so here is the fuse pf1 over here this voltage passes through this fuse here is coil pl1 now from this point the voltage enters into the coil and comes out from this point this point is called v in this voltage now will go to the pch1 first p channel mosfet So this is V in point. Now this voltage is going to 
the MOSFET PQ8. The drain of the MOSFET receives this voltage from the coil PL1. And from the source, the voltage is coming out. So here we have the PQ8 MOSFET. Here is the PQ8 MOSFET. The pin, uh, the dot mark here, indicates that is pin number 1, 2, 3 is here. 1, 2, 3 is the source. Fourth pin is gate. Fourth pin is gate. This is 5, 6, 7, 8 drain. This is the drain. So from this point, the voltage is coming to this point. When this MOSFET becomes on, then the voltage comes out from the pin numbers 1, 2, 3. These are the pin numbers 1, 2, 3. From this point, the voltage goes to the second p-channel MOSFET. This is PQ9, PCH2. So here we have the PQ9 MOSFET. This is the source, 1, 2, 3, fourth pin gate, 5, 6, 7, 8 drain. So from this source, the voltage is going to the source of this PQ9 MOSFET. So from this source, the voltage is going to this source of PQ9. When this MOSFET becomes on, then the voltage comes out from the drain of this MOSFET. From the drain of this MOSFET, voltage comes out. This voltage is now passing through a resistor called PR49 and reaches this junction, which we call it as B+. Plus. This is the DC battery junction, the point where the voltage from the adapter and the battery meet. This is DC battery or we call it as B plus over here. So here we have the PR49 resistor. This voltage from the drain passes through this resistor. The other end of the resistor, they referred as B plus. This is the point. Now let us see the uh, battery path. So here we have the battery connector and 1, 2 is the battery supply point and from this point the voltage is uh, passing through a fuse called PF2. So PJ, P2, this is the battery connector. PJ, P2, battery connector. This is the first and second pins. From this point, the voltage is passing through the fuse PF2. The fuse PF2. And it is passing through coil PL2. Here we have the PL2 coil. This point, they called as <coughs> BAT plus, BATT plus BAT plus. At this point, the voltage is referred as BAT plus. Now this voltage, BAT plus, is going to this is BAT plus, now it is reaching the drain of the PQ10 MOSFET and drain of the PQ7 MOSFET. But here, here we have the PQ10 MOSFET, PQ7 is given as a dummy over here. So this is the drain of the PQ10, 5, 6, 7, 8 pins. 1, 2, 3 is source. So from this coil, the voltage is going to drain off this MOSFET. Drain off this MOSFET. From the source, we are getting the output. From the source, we will get the output. This voltage from the source goes to this junction called B+. Plus. So 3 and 4th pins of the PR49 resistor. From the source, this voltage goes to this PR49 resistor. This point, we call it as B+. Plus. So voltage coming from the adapter or battery will reach at this point. This point we call it as B plus. So the B plus supply from this junction now goes to a regulator called 5 volts, 3 volts regulator. So in this space we have this 5 volts, 3 volts regulator IC circuit. So this is PU6 IC. This B plus is going to 22nd pin of this IC. So this is V in pin, voltage input pin. So on the motherboard, we have this IC over here. See, this is PU6 IC. It is a QFN32 package. That means there are 32 pins in this IC and it comes in a QFN package means quad flat no lead back and the 22nd this is the 22nd pin of this IC and B plus is uh, voltage or DC battery out 19 volts or 12 volts 
going to the this pin number see here is the 22nd pin at this at this voltage rail there is a capacitor called pc48 here is the pc48 you can measure this voltage of 19 volts over at this point so this is the grounding point this is the supply point of the capacitor you can measure 19 volts when this voltage goes into this IC, this PU6 IC gives out two outputs. One is 3.3 voltage from the 19th pin. See, this is a V regulator 3, this is the 19th pin, and 3.3 voltage comes out from this pin. So, this is 17, 18, 19th. From this 19th pin, the voltage of 3.3 comes out. In this voltage rail, there is a capacitor PC56 over here. This is a PC56. This is grounding point. This is the this is the supply point and you can measure 3.3 volt is always supply coming from the 19th pin at this point and another voltage that this IC gives out is V regulator 5 voltage regulator 5 volts 5 volts the from the 21st pin so here we have the 5 volts coming out and in this voltage rail there is a capacitor called PC47 so this PC47 capacitor is at the back side of the motherboard. So here we have the PC47. At this point you can measure 5 volts. So this is DC jack. Pin number 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2 is the supply pin. 3, 4 is grounding pin. The voltage is 19 volts coming from the adapter passes through DC jack into the motherboard through this fuse. PF1. This is the other side of the fuse. After passing through the fuse, this voltage reaches this coil PL1. Through this coil, this voltage reaches first to P channel MOSFET. This is a P channel MOSFET. The drain of the P channel MOSFET receives the voltage coming from the PL1 coil. So this is a dot mark here and an arrow mark on the board indicates that this is pin number 1. 1, 2, 3 is the source of this MOSFET. 4 is the gate of the MOSFET. 5, 6, 7, 8 drain of this MOSFET. At this drain the voltage is 19 volts coming from the coil PL1. When this MOSFET becomes on, then 19 volts will come out from the source. Nineteen volts here. From this source, this 19 volts will pass on to the second P channel MOSFET. This is PQ9. This is PQ8. This is PQ9. This is the second p-channel MOSFET. So from the source of PQ8, the voltage goes to source of the PQ9. You can measure 19 volts here. When this MOSFET becomes on, then from the drain of this MOSFET, 19 volts comes out. So from the drain of this PQ9 MOSFET, the voltage pass on to this resistor PR49. This is the other end of the resistor PR49. So this is the point we call it as B plus or a DC bat out. This is the point where the voltage is coming from the adapter and battery meet together. When both adapter and battery is present, the voltage at this point will be 19 volts coming from the adapter. Or when the adapter is removed, then the voltage at this point will be 12 volts coming from the battery. This 19 volts from this point pass on to an IC called 5 volts, 3 volts regulator IC. In this board, this IC onboard serial number is PU6. Now let us see how the voltage coming from the battery connector reaches this point, this B plus point or the DC bat out point. This is the battery supply pin. This is the supply pin of the battery. The voltage battery plus 
coming from this connector reaches this fuse passing through the fuse it passes through coil PL2 this is PF2 fuse this is PL2 coil and the, uh, through this PL2 coil it reaches this MOSFET PQ10 now with the continuity testing we will see this is the fuse line other end of the fuse PL2 coil other end of the coil and it is reaching the drain of this MOSFET this is PQ10 MOSFET the drain is here 5, 6, 7, 8 this is pin number 1, 2, 3 this is source fourth pin is the gate so the voltage coming from the battery is reaching here when the adapter is removed this MOSFET becomes on and the voltage 12 volts coming from the battery comes out to from this pin source from this source this voltage reaches this point and from this point it goes to 5 volts 3 volts regulator IC this is 5 volts 3 volts regulator IC when a DC battery out or B plus voltage is given to this IC it gives out two outputs one is 5 volts always supply another one is 3.3 volts always supply this is PU6 IC PU6 so this is a 32 pin IC this dot mark here and arrow mark here indicates that this is pin number 1 and the this is pin number 32 the counting is to be in the anti clockwise direction so to this pin 22nd pin of this pin this IC we are giving voltage of 19 volts and this 19 volts rail there is a capacitor called PC48 at this point we can measure a voltage of 19 volts this voltage is going into the IC through the pin number 22nd when this voltage is given to this IC it is giving out a voltage of 3.3 which we call it as 3.3 always supply coming out from the pin number 19 and at that 3.3 voltage rail there is a capacitor called PC56 we can measure this voltage of 3.3 voltage at this point so from pin number 21 5 volts always supply comes out this voltage can be measured at capacitor PC47 so PC47 is at the back side of the board so we will measure that 5 volts also so this is capacitor PC47 this capacitor is present in the 5 volts always supply rail so at this point we can measure 5 volts here this is 5 volts always supply 